Social media has the power to change the way we view information in the recent future. Yes, it has. In the 2013 Boston bombing, citizen journalists were able to cover the whole event entirely, supplementing major news organizations, often with more information than the organizations had for themselves. But the danger in this comes when false news reporting comes from social media. Rumors can be spread, such as the New York Stock Exchange flooding, which caused mass hysteria, and also the rumored White House bombing, which actually caused an actual dip in the stock market at the time. Citizen journalists have a great advantage over news organizations because they are there first. They are witnessing these accounts firsthand. Since they are doing this, they are able to get this information out faster and often to a wider audience. But the problem with this is that they don't have the fact-checking sources or often the professionalism that a trained team of journalists would have. But we have come up with a solution for this problem. In order to improve the uh, ability of traditional news organizations to cover breaking news events, we've come up with an idea that would essentially crowdsource breaking news to citizen journalists until traditional news organizations can get boots on the ground at the event. Uh, the way we've decided to do this is we've developed an algorithm to monitor breaking news on social media and online communities, things like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Reddit, and it brings in all the reports that citizen journalists post on these sites and these applications and gives, presents them in a feed directly to a team of trained journalists in the newsroom. Um, and what happens is these journalists and copy editors working alongside them will work to verify information as quickly as possible in order to cut down on the spread of unverified rumors by news organizations simultaneously providing them with a much larger workforce to immediate, uh, immediately present at a breaking news event. We call it the informer. So here's a flowchart of basically how this would work. The editor, as you can see, has access to the entire story in the content management system. Uh, they have access to the publishing and administration interface, which means they have the layout engine, which is where the story, the way the story is presented on the website and digitally and any medium. They also have access to the uh, data visualization framework as new data becomes available. Uh, they can feed it into this and create a visualization so that it's easier for the public to understand exactly what they're looking at. And then they also have access to the uh, aggregation algorithm, the informer, which uh, will collect social media posts based on uh, keywords that uh, it would be monitoring the social media and community sites for, words like breaking, bombing, things of that nature, and it would feed it directly to the editor so that the editor can fact check and verify and choose which of these reports to include in the story. Now, the journalist would be working right alongside them, gathering the information with the copy editor and putting together a traditional new structure for these uh, social media posts to be integrated into in order to create more of a comprehensive view. And then down here you have the guest contributor or blogger, um, basically your proverbial citizen journalist. Uh, they have basically no access to the content management system. Uh, what they do is they submit their posts and the aggregator finds them and brings them to the attention of the editor. So the only access they have is what the editor provides. This allows news organizations to report on breaking news events in various locations using citizen journalist reports before local coverage can be established. The verification process will reduce the amount of published rumors and hoaxes while simultaneously increasing the average news organization's ability to, to debunk these same rumors because they'll become aware of them more quickly and they'll be able to verify and fact check them more quickly. Uh, the informer will be marketed directly to news organizations as a plugin that would support most content management systems. <laughs>